Hi everybody, it's Jocelyn here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is for all things bring back paper. If you are new here, it's a whole thing. Search it, check the links in the description. Come and join the free bring back paper Facebook group. Pop over to my blog, which is theredinresidence.com. You'll find tons of papery content there. And there's lots of videos that you can look back on. I do various papery type videos. Uh, and today I thought to come back in the new year Happy New Year, uh, I would share with you my papery Christmas gifts. So it's a mixture of paper. This obviously isn't a video that I do each week. This is a, I only really do these at Christmas and birthday. Um, but I always get papery things, so I would show you what I have. Uh, I'm just going to whiz through it. I would imagine it's quite a speedy video. Um, we'll go in. I'm jumping in, guys. So... I had this book here. I had these two books here were from my husband. They were on my um, list of things that I wanted. I mean, obviously, my book list is very, very, very long. So instead of getting him to buy every single book in the world that I wanted, I just picked a couple, which I thought was quite good, actually. It's not the easiest thing to do to narrow it down, but I went for these. So the Dictionary of Lost Words, um, which you can see here. Uh, I may, I haven't decided yet, look out for it. I may have this as um, one of our book read-alongs in coming weeks. I don't know yet. I'll see. I'll see where it ends up sitting on my reading pile, but I think it, it looks like quite a good one. So I had that one, and then I had The Den Gentleman's Gambit, uh, which is by Evie Dunmore. This is a series. It says here, look. Her League of Extraordinary Women series. He's extraordinary. Nicely, nicely put. Julia Quinn, who wrote, of course, the Bridgerton books. Um, so I have all of the other books in this series. This is the new one. So I was like, yes, I'll have that, please. So I had those two books there. I then asked for um, a planner that I will use this. Um, you, as you know, I use a bullet journal for everyday things. Uh, in fact, the video that you will see next week, because I've already filmed it. I'm, I'm way ahead, guys. Already filmed it. Um, will be of my bullet journal spreads and layouts, setting it up for 2024. But this planner here, this is what I will use um, for work. So for you guys. So this is the one that I will use for um, YouTube content, um, Patreon stuff uh etsy plans um and blog posts and things so yes i'm filming this by the way today is the friday after christmas so it's a few days after christmas i know that you won't see this for a week or two but probably about a week and a half i think um so if you're thinking oh gosh she's she's made no plans i probably will have by then won't i but it's just you know it's it's still december as i am chatting to you guys uh, I then got this lovely notebook, which was from my mum. She knows that I love stationery, of course. I mean, I don't need a new notebook, but again, facts are facts. We never need more notebooks, but you can never have too many notebooks. The same in books, how it is, isn't it, with stationery and books. So that's very pretty. I like that. Uh, I then had this. Again, this was from my husband. It was something that I had asked for um, because I will use this my mail you will no doubt see this little booklet on a video soon i feel like um i'm sure sometime soon i will be filming a, a pen pal with me a chatty pen pal with me and i will use some of these but i love this i like the variety in it very look oh paris oh door paris loads of different types of things so you can go from like a butterfly to paris to a woman with a parasol to a top hat, to a skull, and why not, to a bear, I like the variety in it, so, oh, 580 stickers, so I'm excited to use that, my mum then usually gets me a calendar, I always get her a calendar, her birthday is actually at the end of November, I always get her a calendar at that point, and a diary, and she got me this, for obvious reasons, for, uh, in honour of my little herb, actually look i haven't again this as you watch this you'll be thinking she hasn't put anything in it i will this will be something that i do in the next couple of days um set it up ready for the first of january 
Um, so yeah, I'm filming this in December, guys. That's why. Um, but it, I, you don't normally see them with this kind of level of detail, do you? I don't think I've ever seen a calendar saying Red Nose Day. Which I'm guessing Red Nose Day is just a UK thing. Um, watchers. Watchers. That's not right. Viewers uh, from elsewhere in the world. That's just a UK thing, surely. But look, it's got, yeah, this is definitely a UK calendar. Look, because it's got Mother's Day UK, which I know isn't the same Mother's Day all around the world. Oh, but then, but then we've got Thomas Jefferson's birthday, which, let's be honest, doesn't make much difference to us here. And Anzac, I don't know. It's like this calendar has tried to cover, because then, look, it's put the Mother's Day for America Canada. Uh, right. They've tried to do all sorts of things here, look, because they popped a Memorial Day in there for America, a Victoria Day there for Canada, and then at... I don't know what's happening, guys. I can tell you that I will be extremely on top of international holidays. They've covered it all. They're like, right, we're going to ship this calendar to the UK, to America, to Canada, New Zealand, Australia, everywhere. Let's just put all the holidays in. That's what they've done, isn't it? I like the style. So yes, um, I got lost in that, didn't I? Then that's the first time I've had a little mooch there. Let me move those. So I had those things. Now they okay. They're not. They don't really fit in stationery book category. But this is paper, and this you'll see. To this that my mum got me, which I love. So many books, so little time. A little key ring. Um, I may use it as a key ring, but I might. I've got one of those. Um, you'll have seen it if you've seen my desktop, probably. But like above my desk, so where I work each day, um, I've got one of those big, you know, like white metal grid square things attached to the wall where I um, clip up various bits and pieces. I think I might just hook this over it because I like it. See it all the time there. Uh, so I had that. And then I also asked for these. These are from my husband as well um, and they're paper hence they're featured and they're good you know if any of you like yoga as I do they are oh, it tells you how to use the cards and then look it's got all these different yoga poses and it tells you how easy they are so that's like intermediate to advanced there whereas that one oh we can all do that we can all do child's pose um, and then as you can see what I enjoy about these little qr code on every single one I, I like i mean i can just go through these and learn them all i know quite a few of them because i do i do do you i've never done a camel pose oh it says it's advanced that's probably why i've never done a camel pose so this for example never done it never tried it scan the qr code it will show me how to do that i know i have a diagram here but it will be a little um i believe it will be a little bit i haven't tried it yet let me see uh, in school the QR and yeah it will take me straight there I'll be able to see how it works or yeah, you don't, I don't have to do that I can just go and look at the it's like videos for this particular box set but I love this so that's paper that is paper paper wellness well-being all combined so if you like the yoga if you're a yoga person or you think I might like yoga that looks like it's a fun thing to do. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure them out. I'm going to use my little QR thing. I know, as I said, I do know quite a few of them because I do do yoga most days. And then I'm going to shuffle them up and just create a routine each, every few days. I usually follow along with Yoga with Adrienne. I'm sure if you're a yoga person, you know who that is. But I, th I quite like the idea of creating my own with completely random guys. Shuffle it up. I, I, I don't like repeatedly doing the same thing, so that's going to ensure I'm not. Uh, and then the last little pile of things here, it is Christmas because I used some of my Christmas money, but I purchased these things. I went out in the sales and I got these. Uh, I was mooching around our local town centre the other day uh, and I picked this up. This was in the boot sale, half price. Love a journal. Love any excuse to sit with a bit of paper and reflect. Um... Uh, with pretty pens, I'm all over it. I like that I've randomly opened this. Now, I know many of you um, will be popping over to this channel because you also, like me, like to write a letter. We love to have pen pals. And look, I've just flicked it over to that. Most of us are people who can be right to. This is for normal people who don't have loads of pen pals. I could just write pen pals in there, which I think is missing the point. It's trying to say, you know, cheer up someone that you perhaps don't normally 
right to. It's just a nice idea, and I definitely am a fan of such a thing. So, yeah, it's lots of different... I like the idea of it, look. Inspiration, happiness tips in here. Little quotes, little things for me to do. A little bit of colour in there, look. Yeah, I'm looking forward to filling that in. I'm just dipping it out as and when I feel like it. But that was... I think that was £5. It was half price. It was in the boot sale. I think it was half price. Looks fun though, doesn't it? I, again, like I say, I like variety. Don't like things to all be the same. And then, I bought some books. Yes, we know. I didn't need any books. While I was in there, purchasing these books. Got these from the works. They were in the three for six pound. My husband was stood right there. He's like, I'm sure I just bought you two books for Christmas. And he knows, he, I mean, he's seen the bookshelves. He's seen He's seen what is happening in the house. Um, he's not a reader like I am. So he was like, what are you doing? But he knows me. We've been together for many, many years. Many, many, I don't know how many years. 20, 26 years. He knows. He knows, guys. So I picked this up. Couldn't resist it. Love Jenny Colgan. Um, I've read quite a lot of her books. Wanted something light, something fun. Um, and it will be. I can already, I haven't read this book yet, but I can already tell you. It, go get it. Go get it. It's in the works, three, six. And you'll enjoy it because it's Jenny Colgan. I then got this. Uh, we had, and this actually, Body Language, might have been a book read along a couple of years ago, maybe. Was it? Okay, I mean, I might have made that up, but I've definitely read it. Um, and I like this. These are fun. I know it doesn't seem like it's fun because she's a mortuary technician. So you're reading that and it's talking about dead bodies and you're like, this isn't fun. Um, but uh, it is. Trust me. She can She can kind of, well, like it says here, she could, um, can sense the last thoughts of the dead. So she kind of then can get into their heads a little bit um, and solve if they've died in strange, mysterious circumstances or murder or whatever, she sort of solves it. It's funny. Like it says, blackly humorous. They're good. I like them. So I thought, oh, I'm going to read that. And the last one, I'd actually just put this on my wish list. And it was there in the three for six. In fact, I believe it's what prompted me to go, oh, I'll get that. And then, and then I saw those other two books. Because this was already on my list for more than the six pounds. So actually, I've saved money here because i got these three books for less than the cost of this one that i have put on my wish list admittedly haven't bought but in my head i've basically made an absolute phenomenal saving and got three books for it i'd seen this i think someone that i follow on instagram have popped this up instagram sometimes can be i follow a lot of bookstagrammers and it can be a problem for me i've deliberately kept my tiktok completely free of um book I'm, I'm not on book talk uh very deliberately i don't by the way if you're thinking oh she's on tiktok i don't um i don't post stuff on tiktok it's it's purely for entertainment for me and i deliberately don't go on book talk because if once i get in the book top groove i'll be absolutely done for the amount of books that i'll want because bookstagram's bad enough um but i digress so i saw this uh and as you can see it looked it just looked a little bit different um and I've not read any Bethany Cliff before. Uh, so I thought, I'm going to get that. I've, I've seen it. Someone's mentioned it. It basically feels like I have to buy it. And so I did. And that's it. That is my papery stuff. That's it. Not, not loads. Not a hugely long bit. It's enough though, isn't it? So I've got myself a lovely five new books there. Um, I haven't started any of them yet. I'm still reading a Christmas book, which after I film this, I'm probably going to go and sit down and finish because my daughter's uh, on a new tablet. Uh, my son and my husband are currently both gaming uh, in the living room. I don't know what they're doing. Spider-Man football game. I don't know. Uh, so I'm free to do as I please. So I think I'm going to go and sit down and re finish my book. And then maybe I'll start one of these. And maybe I won't. I've got a lot of books to read. Journal. Something to do. A bit of activity. Also, um, I'm sure I mentioned it on a, a video. Um, paper gift ideas. And I mentioned that I had bought a mother-son journal. Which I was giving to my son for Christmas. Well, he has that now. We well, completely loves it. 
Uh, I've just, before I've done this, actually been completing one of my pages to pass it back to him. So we are enjoying it. It is a hit, guys, if you were interested. You probably weren't, but I've told you now because I was just thinking about it. We've just done it. Stickers. It's a good variety, actually. A journal, notebook, stickers, lovely planner, calendar, and these things. Not strictly sweet, but they are paper. So I'm putting it in, putting it in the video because I love them. And there you go. That, those were my papery Christmas gifts. I hope you enjoyed having a little mooch at them. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed your holidays. Back in the new year now, back into the swing of things. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, I'm filming this and I'm still very much in Christmas. Christmas decks are still up. I can see them as I'm filming it. But by the time you watch this, it'll be gone and things will be getting back to normal, I think. Um, and I hope that all is well with you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Do give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe for paper videos every week. See you next week. Bye.